Though this grass does indeed have a pleasant minty aroma, the taste is quite bitter. Don't eat grass, you're supposed to touch grass. But anything beyond that? Nope, that's just going way too far. Either way, quickly gonna deposit these and then let's explore that little area and I really should perform cleanup duty here. Oh my god. Here you go, you big beast. Enjoy your ingonium or indigonium and your soft jelly or whatever. It's a nice amount of late, at least. So, yeah. It's just fine. And would I want to make more of them? Probably. I'll make a few more. One, two, three of you. And one, two, three of you. I'll quickly place them down. And then we continue. I do partly wonder if placing these machineries deeper into the indigo quarry, like even further, if that would help with the rare resources. Like, placing them here is fine, I'm totally fine with that, but it's just an idea. Uh, and so we'll drill over there, one more drill here, and one drill there. And then we move on back home, place the pumps down as well, in the... Uh, on point again, as always. The dry reef! <laughs> and finally, go towards that shortcut. Alright, here we go. Research mode. Novice pump there. Another pump there. And... Yeah. It works just fine. So, that is that. Which means this area over here... It's showing me that I can go all the way over here, and I possibly, possibly, oh, I possibly can go down here. Hi, not what was what I was expecting, but I'll take it because there is this tiny little ledge right over there. Is that that? I think it is. Hello, what are we hiding here? Hi, what are you doing here? Just a normal amount of pink slimes? Nothing more? I mean, it's rather cute and all, but... I'm not too sure. It is rather cute, but yeah. Is this leading me anywhere? Is that if you... S is that really if you accidentally fall down? There's more. There is more. There is more to this. Oh, there's not more to that. There's not more to that. There's not more to that. That's the wrong way. There are side passages over there. Can I get all the way on top of here? With a bit of luck. It doesn't allow me to go that high. Why is this here then? Is it really just for you to try and get on top of here? No. I am gonna get on top of there. Even if it's the last thing I'll do. No, 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 no. Okay. I am playing a little bit dangerous here. There must be a way to just get on top of there without any further issues, right? Like, from here. We should be able to make the jump. There we go. Easy peasy. Awesome. That's right back on top of here. But then what? Yes, we can get on top of here. We can probably get on top of there. But what is that? All this here. What is here? And where would it lead me? Because apparently we've been here or not. How would one get here? Because this is if you were to... Hi. If you were to fall down? No. What have we got? Hello. I'll take your deep brine and I'll take your lava dust. The survey on the state of this matter answered undecided. Apparently. Lava dust is a rare resource obtained with a pump. Neither a solid or a liquid, lava dust seems to be something in between, having the characteristics of both. It is believed to be a mixture of magma and slime, but this has never been proven. And despite this name, lava dust is only warm to the touch. Well, thank God then. But I'll take it along with me if it's a rare resource. 
However, that does mean I am going to have to find my way back home with it. And that means I can't exactly explore all too much here. Because apparently this is a dangerous terrain. But dangerous with what? Like, at the moment I... I seriously don't see anything. Have I been here? I haven't been here, right? There's a fair few normal chickens, but... No, hello. I see you. Okay, there's something else down here. Oh, that's where the danger would come from. Hello. Uh, got water here, if required. For what? I don't know, but I do know that I don't want to hang around for too long. Let's see. Find our way back up to the top. And see if we can get to the other side. We just go over here. With this jetpack, we can jump so far. I love it. So, yeah. Danger. Got it. Meanwhile, though. Where would this take us? Because there's this little island where we haven't been before. Because the only island we've been to has been... Um, oh... Okay, hadn't seen that one before. This game is getting bigger and bigger. Um, we've been to this island, but... Not to over here, which... Oh, this would lead us directly back to our own area. With a very big jump. Can we make that? I believe we can. I believe we can. We totally can with these. Hi. Nightlight slide toy. If anyone likes a nightlight, it's a phosphor slime. That is adorable. Uh, I'm taking this home. I'm sorry. Feel free to join me. There's boom slimes galore where you will find this. Maybe. This is how I get back, right? This is how I get back. Just slow and steadily. Uh, another blue one of you that I can't yet open. Why? There's so many little... So many hidden little secrets. And that's how we get right back up here. Awesome. Well, um, my boom slimes will surely like this. Maybe if we place this right over here. They'll get closer to it, and thus get closer to their own food source. Maybe. I mean, ow, they seem to like it, I guess. Just don't blow up your night lights. You're so gonna blow it up. Don't break it, is what I'm asking you. Uh, anyway, exactly back to where I wanted to be. Let's quickly deposit this deep run in lava dust. And... Yeah, then figure out what the hell we want to do next. Oh boy, I'm back at the ranch and I'm producing too many plorts. Well, well I'm not producing the plorts, but slimes are. I, I might need to sell some again. Okay, you don't go anywhere. I do need you, but... I basically don't want you lying on the floor right now. That's a bad idea. There we go. Let me really quickly get rid of these. Plot production is reaching critical stages because we are... <laughs> we've just got too many. Can I sell some stuff? Is... It's at 41. Um, That is pretty good. Rock plots are good. All the way up to 20. Ooh. I need to get rid of the rat plots though. I need to sell some rat plots because I just have too many of them right now. And I also have got too many tabby plots. It's... I'm fine with it. It's a good problem to have. But nonetheless, it's a problem. And even if it is a good problem, I'm currently being irradiated by this madness. Might also be a case of the fact that I haven't slept for a very long time right now, so maybe that is why I'm... Maybe I'm just hallucinating all of this. All this slime ranging has been one massive hallucination, that's what. It's the only explanation I've got. Anyway, Terry plots can go inside of here for the time being. I can actually just dump my rat plots into the lab that I've got, but I want the money. And right now, 41 per piece. 
that is a lovely amount. Perfect. So, in regards to money, we don't have any further upgrades available as of right now. Which is a shame, I would love to get even more capacity, but I don't think that's the case. Like, what would you do with even more capacity? Carry 60 slimes around? Why would you use 60 slimes? 50 is already a lot. No, what I think I'm gonna do right now is go to my hut, go to the rewards club. I want my fence upgrade, just because I can. There we go, and we can get a patch up, or no, not a, not a patch, but a path upgrade. Well, it's something, I guess. Ooh. Oh, that is fancy for sure. Can I still jump over it? I can still jump over it. Oh, that's nice. I actually kind of like that. Yeah. Um, can I sell more stuff? I want to increase the rankings that I've got. I'm going to sell more rat wards. I want the money. I want the next rank. I want to see what else we can get from this. Because what I wonder, is it purely going to be cosmetic? Or is there more to it? Like, it wouldn't be surprising to me if there actually is some usable rewards hidden behind that 7 c Club thing. So, there we go. And just a few more. I'll go down to 100. So I'll be right back. Oh, let all the money flow. Although I do have to say, yeah, with all of this money, this being the last batch for now, <laughs> I do wonder... Yes, 7C Rewards Club is very fun, and I can get a path upgrade, which is right now a little bit messy. But at the same time, do I maybe want to get some more upgrades in the lab itself? Like, what if more of these unlocks are being unlocked upon purchasing more of this stuff? Like, right over here. If I just purchase the pink teleporter and whatnot, would I get more available in the future? Like, I don't need the slime ball hoop or this kind of stuff. Maybe the Norfolk Gordo snare, but not necessarily just yet. But a pink teleporter. I'll just buy it, because we can. And I'll buy the pink warp depot, because we can. I'll buy the med station. And the hydro turrets. And the rest can just stay the way that it is. So, if we were to go over here right now, a utilities med station would require pink blood, raploid, jelly stone wild honey can't get that uh drones also way too expensive hydro turrets we can theoretically make if i am to get some puddle slimes i need to remind myself to do that which i really should do right after this uh let's see pink teleporter could work but would require hexacombs and also the strange diamonds and pink warp depot would require more slime fossils and the rare lava dust okay and Fossil ports for the lamp, for the pink port, bus wax, wild honey. Uh, I need bloody slime fossils for the sponge shrubs as well. Seriously, some of these decorations are bloody expensive. That's what they are. Um, nope. Right now, though, I have got some money. I want to go to the 7 Zero Reward Club, see what else we can get. Yes, it's a little bit of a waste. Right now, I don't care. I can just, I can destroy the plot market in a day if I wanted to. Like, all my friends on this island, or on this planet, it's not an island, it's a planet. All my friends on the planet, all of a sudden, I'll get angry mail from Thora, like, Dude, Beatrix, what the hell did you do? Uh, but it's fun. Path upgrade, let's go. Porsche upgrades. I do want to see my porch. Uh, return to the ranch, let's see the path. Oh, yep, that is most definitely quite a lot fancier. It's still not the most amazing thing out there, but it's a decent path. That's what I'd say. And it goes all the way to the front right over here. So that's also pretty nice. So in regards to the porch, which would be right over here, are we going to get an improvement over this stone that we've got going on right now? Let's see, porch upgrades. Awesome. Ooh, chroma station. What's a chroma station? I kind of want it right now. I'm taking it. An arch upgrade as well. And we got Star Mail. Um, hello. Chroma Packs now available. The 7C Corporation to Miss LeBeau. 
the Seven Seed Corporation would like to congratulate you on obtaining the rank of Skylark 1. With this rank, you now have access to the new avenue of creative self-expression, Chroma Packs. Chroma Packs allow you to apply new color schemes to your ranch house, vac pack and ranch tech, allowing you to stand out from all the other ranches on the far, far range. And while we realize that most slime ranchers never even see another rancher given ge geographic separation between rancher properties, we have a feeling that they know, oh yes, they know that you did some chroma madness. <laughs> Please also note that by the time you have likely read this message, the 7C Corporation has already installed the chroma pack terminal just outside your home. How quickly do you do that? The 7C Corporation, covertly installing machines outside your home quickly and reliably. And also quietly, apparently. Ooh, hi. Alright, so classic. Add a custom paint job to your ranch house, fact pack, or ranch tech. Express yourself. So the house right now is just classic, the way it is. And we can just say, I want cobalt. Fancy. Okay, that's nice. And what about milkshake? Definitely too pink for my taste. And classic is just... I like classic, but I also like the golden... Sort of... Slime on top of the air. Like... That's rather adorable. I like this color, yes. I don't like that logo from 7C, but... It has to be. Either way, that is nice. And then we can also change our tech. Like... Cobalt for our gun. Oh, I would have to do this. There we go. Nice. Color me impressed. Yes. Yes, I am. All right. Well, this is working. Ooh, nice. I didn't even notice the porch just yet, but that is awesome. <laughs> okay, I gotta admit, I was not expecting the whole 7 Reward Club cosmetic thing to be something fun, but honestly... This is rather fun. Is it a waste of money? Yes, totally. Do I care right now? Nah, not so much. And neither do my slimes. As long as they get fed, nothing is wrong. The one downside, however, to these upgrades, uh, there was a little path I could go to right over there. It's now <laughs> the fence has been upgraded. It's not as smooth as it was before. Oh well. So. First things first, what I would want to do right now, uh, I definitely want to do the range exchange again, but the one thing I desperately want to do right now is grab myself a few puddle slimes from the indigo quarter, uh, quarry and whatnot. Because I... Ow. You haven't broken the nightlight yet. Good job. But no, I want some puddle slimes for my own dock area. To at least have something there. Because right now, it's a little bit lifeless. And likewise, you were ready. Uh, not the time for that just yet. I first want my puddle slimes. Friends! Hi, how are you doing? Uh, I have a new home for you in mind. Don't worry, I will keep the, the, the whole idea of only three puddle slimes at a time in mind. So that you won't get all sad and whatnot. Don't worry. Your friends are going on a vacation. One day they might return. Don't worry. And so, if I understood things correctly, the puddle slime thus didn't need anything at all. Like, I just place you three here, and... Oh, you like your rubber ducky. Yeah, let me really quickly take it. I'll drop it right over there. Oh, no. Right over there. Enjoy. <laughs> uh, adorable. So now you should theoretically create your own plorts, like the puddle plorts. <laughs> so adorable, that's what. But no, it was three maximum, right? Puddle slime. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Finally, puddle slimes are exceptionally shy and will not produce plots if they are in close proximity to more than three other slimes. Overall, all puddle slime, a puddle slime is a better fit for a more experienced rancher, not one still wet behind the ears. I am still wet behind the ears, sort of, maybe, I guess, but... These three, just in this pool, as long as you stay in the water, everything's fine, right? And then once I return, there will be puddle plores waiting for me. 
That's the hope. Anyway, enjoy your Bubba Ducky. And that means I got a whole lot more puddle or a whole lot more plots to go. It's slowly getting there again. Anyway, while I am here right now anyway, there is the range exchange again. Let's see who we can help today. Thora West or... Let's go with Mochi Miles. Sure, she might be a little bit stuck up, but... I need these plots post haste, uh, whatever that means. Oh, don't you worry. You don't need any puddle plots, so three rock, three tabby. That is very easy. Three rock. Oh, uh, one, two, three. Three tabby. One, two, three. Right? Or was it two? No, it was three. So one, two, three. One, two, three. And all you need is two normal. And you expect to make a whole lot of money with this? Mochi, you are so far behind me. I thought you were the one who was going to say, oh, these are going to be worth the most money. You pay me 750 for that. You're a fool. Yeah, sure, you might be the richest. But the thing is, you're just trying to speed up your own progress by purchasing shortcuts. That's a bad idea, I tell ya. But you do you. You do you. Which means right now I need my chickens. There we go. I got all the money. And I got started from Mochi Miles. Hi. Uh, give me one moment. I'll really quickly deposit my hand hands. I'll grab my pogo fruits. And also the Q berries. Yeah, this will work. Okay, you have got more than enough food for decades because I just dumped a whole lot of Q berries in there. Um, I'll take a few outs. And can you please stop irradiating me? Thank you. Getting close to them remains to be a danger. Either way, really quickly gonna deposit these in the garbage disposal. Because even these little pals, they've been so kind to the point where they haven't escaped yet. Yet is the main thing I'm saying here. Can you please not do so much bouncing? Like, if you bounce out of here, I'm really gonna be upset. But this should mean, hopefully, that we are going to figure out if it actually fills up twice or just on one side. So, here we go. It only fills up on one side. Oh, that is a little bit sucky. I was really hoping that it would fill up on two sides, but... Oh well. It is what it is. Anyway, this goes... Uh, this goes right in here. And I guess I could put the bubble ports in here as well. Means I'll at least have them in case I require them. There we go. I could have sold them, but... Eh. I'll quickly empty this, and then we will see what we're gonna do next. Because that's probably gonna be reading Mochi Mills' mail. Or Mochi Miles' mail. Something. Something with M's. Alright, Mochi. I have your attention. You have my attention. Let's see. What do you want? Again, no subject? Please learn how to add a subject. That is so lazy. Mochi Miles. The other ranchers won't shut up about you and it's starting to get annoying. So let's see what all the fuss is about. I'd like to talk business with you, so I went ahead and activated a spare teleporter in that horrible cave you call a ranch expansion. The teleporter will take you to my estate. I have others too, where we can work out the details. Don't keep me waiting. See you there, square. Mochi Miles, top rancher. Okay, well, 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 visit Mochi's manor. Mochi Miles has offered you a job working at her manor. Enter the teleport in the grotto to learn more. Well, first things first, before I do that, because I am here to make friends, I guess, and I'm here to make money, and I'm here to destroy everyone in the slime range business. Um, first things first, gotta empty a few more port ports. And make sure that this farm stays up and running during the period of time where I would be gone. Alright, I think that should do the trick. Now, before we do visit Mochi Manor, um, it's late in the evening. I haven't slept in ages. Uh, is everything going well over here? Yes, the puddle plots are really expensive, by the way. Love it. The boom plots, not so much. Well, I haven't really sold any of them, surprisingly enough. But, yeah. This is working nicely. Uh, we'll sleep till the morning. Maybe sell some few extra plots. 
make sure that we don't stand there at Mochi Manor empty-handed. I mean, I gotta make an impression. Which right now means that I shouldn't arrive as quite a poor bum. But for now, sleep until morning, so we are nice and well rested. Just how we like it. Ooh, new blueprint available, advanced pump. A pump that siphons more resources with a higher chance for rare resources. Last three cycles. I like the sound of that. Uh, advanced drill, let me get an advanced apiarium as well. Uh-huh. Show it to me. Show it. Come on. There we go. Meanwhile, nothing else here. Alright. And how expensive would those be? Like, the blueprints are available, meaning we would have to buy them. Sorry, Machi, you're gonna have to wait just a little bit longer. Um, also, let me really quickly grab all of this madness. Thank you. My slimes are very hungry. Oh, boy. Yeah, friends, right over there, right in the corner. That's where all your food is. Enjoy. Let's see. Blueprints, advanced, 1,500. Well, I definitely want those. I definitely want those. At least in the nearby future. Not right now, but in the very nearby future. Which means I'm gonna have to sell some ports. I need to make a little bit of money right now. Because I am way too poor. Maybe I did spend too much money on all the 7C club stuff. It is a trap, I tell ya. All that cosmetics. Like, once you... Once you bite, you're stuck with it. So, basically, you should never buy it in. Never take that first step into the realm of cosmetics. Oh well. As long as everything here is running nicely, it should be fine. I'm gonna take a quick look to see what kind of wards I can really quickly sell without issues. And then it should be fine. Alright, rat plots are going down, so maybe now is the time to sell them? Saturate the market a little bit? Probably. Or... <laughs> yeah, pink plots now so expensive. I haven't sold them in ages. I say pink plots and the phosphor ones. Nope. Uh, rat plots and the phosphor ones. That's what we're gonna do. And I guess we can add a few of the crystal ones as well. I mean, I have quite a few of them. And they are, right now, worth the most money for me. And thus, plots go whoosh, turning us into a plot powerhouse. And that's only just the beginning. <laughs> Seeing numbers go up is always so bloody satisfying. And there we go. Lovely. Let those prices crash and burn. I don't care. I'm rich. That's what. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's see what Mochi Miles has in store for us. Although I dislike Mochi's attitude towards us, she does seem like a person with some proper connections. Even if a possible friendship is off of the table, at least we might still be able to barter some kind of beneficial deal.